Hello everyone, my name is Joel. I'm an avid user of Performance Coding products and today I'm going to show you a couple of contracting tips. When coding, you will need to find an area where you're going to finish or where you know you're going to finish. So what I like to do is put down a piece of plastic and just run some tape along, as you can see there. Which is always good for when you finish, so then you can put your applicator down so you're not getting on Mrs Smith's carpet or her tiles or something like that. It just makes it easier. Here's our Street 2 finish, which has already been catalysed, as has been shown. Now obviously you just want to pat in to where the skirting is. Now don't put too much pressure on the bar, you just want an easy flow. The two bar is weighted to a certain weight to apply the finish at a certain application rate, so you definitely don't want to add any extra weight. Let the bar decide how much finish goes onto your floor. So Joel's adding some more finish to his pool, so he's got a suitable, suitable amount of finish in his pool to pull back next time. Joel had previously cut back the, the total floor area with 150 grit screen discs and he'd also vacuumed and tack mopped to make sure he got rid of all possible grit. This surface had previously been treated with two coats of emulsion, so it's been previously sealed. Um, so at the moment we're coating the floor with uh, a second coat of Street Shoe 275 satin. So it's actually a second top coat that's going on this floor, which is half black butt and half Jarrah.
black butt section of this floor was actually coated in lock and seal first, prior to the emulsion going on, because the lock and seal sealer acts as a, a tenon lock, so it stops the tenon coming out of the black butt. So it's really important exotic or reactive timbers like black butt are treated with, with the right sealer, which in this case would be lock and seal. Joel's putting no pressure on the bar, but he's making sure he's walking at a pace where he's not getting any run marks at the, at the already coated side of the bar. As you can see, any leftover pools running onto the floor, which is dry. Joel's now come to the, the part of this particular floor where he's going to have to start from a different edge over here so he doesn't box himself in. Street shoes are really easy to product to apply, it just flows beautifully. As you can see, Joel's showing attention that he doesn't have any really heavy, heavy swirls where he's finishing. He's, he's, he's coming back onto his swirl to cut it down. He's also at the part of the, the coating here where he, he's going to watch that he's not going to put too much product down because we're almost at the edge of our floor. He doesn't want to have a ridiculously excessive pull so he gets to the end and he's, he's got too much finish.
Joel's just put out like a pikelet sized piece of finish there and he's just going to finish the two side areas with the, with the applicator pad. Oh, these foam pads make it really easy to apply the finish. Same on the other side. That's now completion of the coating with the T-bar, which treats you 275. As you can see, really easy process. Um, if you do have any other queries, you can contact Performance Coatings at any time on 0243 40 1924, or you can go to our website www.performancecoatingsaust.com.au. Thanks for listening to the Contractors Tips.